From a huge plot twist to an explosive ending, here's why Yellowstone's finale could break the show's biggest rule. For starters, the show's plot needs some revamping. Yellowstone Season 5 is said to be the last part of Taylor Sheridan's landmark neo-western show. That's why I started looking at how one possible ending could break one of the show's biggest rules. Let's face it, Yellowstone's become the most popular neo-western show of the 21st century. As the Dutton story gets closer to its natural end, the show's tendency to throw in twists could be what makes Yellowstone and Sheridan's harshest critics shut up for good. In Yellowstone, there's only one twist that could make all of this happen. The conservation easement plan that John Dutton made for the Dutton Ranch is being put into action. You're probably wondering what that is. Really? Yeah, and I'm betting that. I'm betting that right here. Trout are like, are like bankers. I'm gonna do a damn thing in the morning. On the show, they explain that a conservation easement is an agreement that lets landowners give the state full control of their land. In Montana, conservation easements have worked well in the past to protect natural resources, especially ones that are compatible with other uses of the land. It's basically a formal way for a property owner to show that they care about continuing to use and care for their land in a responsible way. Even though John's plan might upset fans who are looking forward to a blood bath in Yellowstone Season 5 Part 2. It's the best thing Sheridan can do for the show's ending. And to be honest, the show needs that element. The ending of Yellowstone could really use a twist. It'd be a big plot twist if John Dutton actually signed the conservation easement agreement with the state. This would end much of the show's conflict without violence, which would be a big change from what's been teased. But this ending's the type that'll be remembered for a long time. If you're one of my sons... You what? Brand me? Fight me, huh? Stone Get this one in there, buddy. Go. <laughs> Why? Well, it brings the whole Yellowstone story to a satisfying end. The show's been called a soap opera, but this criticism can be turned on its head by giving John Dutton's life as a landowner and politician a whole new meaning. John's plan was first mentioned in the second episode of the season. This is another sign that the show's going in this direction. Still, there will be blood in Yellowstone's last days, but if the show's writers can find a way to make this twist work, any violence that comes from the conservation easement going through would only make this ending better. Better. The show's ending has a special place in the history of the Dutton family. In fact, Yellowstone may even go down in TV history because of its surprising ending. But it all depends on the conservation easement twist working. That'll pretty much decide how this show will be remembered in history. The show's ending could be as memorable as the endings of shows like The Sopranos or Ozark. It carries the weight of not only the show's social and political themes, but also the sensitive parts of American history that Yellowstone spin-offs 1883 and 1980. 23 have already covered. If Yellowstone Season 5 Part 2 is really the last, the only way to keep everyone happy is to give it a final twist. I'm too excited to sleep. Yes, friends. Me too. Now go on. Go. Okay. It's a cow out. She's leading that wolf away from her baby. One that makes fun of soap operas, but stays true to the show's main ideas and themes. Even if Yellowstone ends with the signing of the conservation easement, that doesn't mean that John Dutton isn't the real bad guy in Yellowstone. Just like his ancestors, John wants to keep the ranch for the next generation of Montanans. But Beth didn't find out until season five that the family's efforts to do so have led to a huge number of deaths that have been adding up for more than a century. Sure, the conservation easement helps the Confederate tribes of Broken Rock reach their goal of protecting the land, but it also gives the state ownership of land that's mostly owned by Native Americans. Once John Dutton's plan is put into action, it could help hide evidence of the family's murders, and it could even speed up Governor Dutton's path to the U.S. Senate. This twist ending could be really memorable because it sets up the perfect, unexpected, but still realistic ending and epilogue to Yellowstone. It means it'll make it short. I'm already short. He's got every right to be, so I don't want you sticking up for me no matter what he says, you understand? No matter how Yellowstone ends, the Dutton story isn't over. Taylor Sheridan's spin-offs keep adding to the world of the show, so the story of the Duttons is far from over. But with Kevin Costner leaving the show, there have been other rumors going around. Some people think John Dutton will die at the end of the show, but even though there were rumors that Costner was leaving Yellowstone, Dutton has a long history of looking death in the eye and telling it to leave his property. In fact, the first thing I saw of John in Yellowstone was him walking away from a crash involving 
involving several cars. I mean, come on, he's also lived through colon cancer. More importantly, John fully recovered from his injuries in Season 4, that too, after being shot and left for dead in the last episode of Season 3. So it's still a very real possibility that John Dutton could die if Kevin Costner leaves Yellowstone. They don't always land on the same thing. I, I, I feel like I really not like my career so much. You know, we've been doing the same work from the first season, and I think that that's that's, number one, been really important to me. Even though both Paramount and Costner's camp have denied the rumors that he's leaving the show, it's possible that the showrunners just don't want to give away its biggest surprises. Kevin Costner leaving Yellowstone couldn't only kill John Dutton, but it could also be the end of the show. In fact, reports are mixed about whether Yellowstone will end after Season 5 or Season 6. This gives Taylor Sheridan plenty of time to build up to John Dutton's death. And honestly, it wouldn't be such a bad thing either. Yellowstone could benefit from John Dutton's death. If you think about it, he represents the ranch, and since the show needs to end anyway, John Dutton dying makes a lot of sense. In fact, the Duttons have been playing with death and daring it for far too long. Like, what kind of dessert? No, there's some cookies on the other side of pie plates. Big cookie. It's the one thing we all share. Now you share it too. Will something kill us too, Grandpa? They are now getting ready for the biggest fight of their lives, which is against each other. This is the best time for them to also lose the most. In Season 5 of Yellowstone, John Dutton's death could be the biggest test for Case, Beth, Jamie, and Rip, especially because their actions are mostly based on how they felt about John. If the show gets a sixth season, John's death will show if what he did was worth the legacy he left behind. This isn't the first time that the franchise would end a series this way either, just like Elza Dutton did in the last episode of 1883, John needs to die so that this part of the ranch's history can come to a close. At its heart, the show's about how white people have owned land in America for a long time and how this has left Native Americans without rights. Yellowstone seasons 1 through 5 have used almost every possible angle on these main themes. There's no other way for the story to end except in an explosive way. That's why killing John Dutton, who's the heart and soul of Yellowstone, would be the best way to do that. So I've made a decision. Not a fact. I'm going to be a cowboy. You two take the trapper cab and give your mind a vacation for a night. Take. Dutton's death could be one of the best moments in the history of neo-westerns if it happens in season 5 or 6. Also, since both John and Yellowstone are coming to an end, the upcoming spin-offs will be able to dig deeper into the social and political themes that made Yellowstone so interesting. In a way, that wasn't possible in the original show. We started to talk about her for five or six days on the, all the different talk shows, as you can imagine, and, and I didn't go. Still, only time will tell if death can even hurt John Dutton, who seems to be very strong. That's all for how Yellowstone's ending could break the show's biggest rule.